Check it out, folks. It's another episode of Burgers and Dogs Across America. I'm your host, A.B., episode number three. Let's get it. All right, so look, let's go over some of these ingredients, right? Obviously, we got a hot dog buns, right? Listen, when you do Chicago-style buns, you got to have the poppy seeds. These don't have it. I'm going to show you how we turn regular hot dog buns into poppy seed buns, right? Okay, so listen, now we're going to address this pickle part. Notice I got whole pickles. We got to have them a long way because we're going to cut these into like slivers and add those to the dog, right? Don't forget, Chicago dogs. Seeing how we keep saying that, if you ain't got no green, you know, Chicago style relish like that, I want you guys to really pay attention to the color. That's why I'm gonna bring it back this way. This right here is authentic, right? Then you gotta have sport peppers. You got the poppy seeds. So look, I'll put the poppy seeds back here in the back because that's what we're gonna make out of that. And then we're gonna use the butter. I'm gonna show you guys just how to make it. And this right here is the celery salt. And you can't have a Chicago dog without having these right here, the beef wiener. And then listen, we're gonna use this tomato right here because you gotta put the tomato on there, not diced. I'm gonna show you how to cut these just like we do a, a, a lemon wedge, you know what I mean? Or a lime wedge. Okay, so look, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna address the part by me not having poppy seed buns, right? I'm gonna show you how to make them. So I'm getting ready to take this, melt my butter now, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush on top. I'm gonna show you that. But before we do that, I'm gonna walk over here. I wanna go ahead and preheat my oven. We're gonna go ahead and hit bake. We're gonna preheat to 350 degrees, and then we just start it. Did you know that the Jewish immigrants in the early 1900s created the all beef version of the Chicago dog? The style became popular because Chicago Union stock stockyards had poor health standards and kosher standards were considered the safer. All right, so look, now we're gonna go ahead because we got our water boiling. That's gonna be my method of choice today, right? We'll just drop four of these in here because I'm gonna make four of them, right? So we put them like this. I'm gonna put this top on there and we're gonna boil these till they get ready. You guys all know when you like your hot dog, how you like your hot dog, you like it split, super bowl. I just want it to be nice and cooked and I want it to be photo ready also. All right, so we got it melted. Now this is what I wanna show you. I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down like this, just so you guys can see how we do it, right? So let me move this, move that. I'm gonna explain to you why I got these tongs out here in just one second. Uh, that's gonna be like cool if you guys wanna do that. Just give me one minute. Look, what you want to do is after you melt your butter, you just want to go ahead and brush this bun just like this, right? Now, don't forget, we put the uh, we preheated our oven at 350 degrees, right? So this is like a little cheat. I got it. It won't be authentic because this was not made. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't made in uh, in Chicago. I'm sure they probably do something a little different. You know what I mean? But we're gonna do it like this. Just get it nice and coated. Get to give it a little bit of a brown look to it. Right, so now I'm gonna take my poppy seed and I'm just gonna, you see where I'm going with it, folks? Yes, sir. Be careful with the poppy seed for those of you guys who be doing that drug testing. You know what I mean? Listen, it has been known to give a false, you know, positive for heroin, if you guys didn't know. Right, so now I'm gonna take it, turn it over here on this side. Right, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Then all we're gonna do is put it in the oven. Once we get it in the oven, we're gonna set a timer. To be honest with you, I don't want it in there no longer than 10 minutes, right? So I watch it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna say 10 minutes, but let's just say we're gonna set a timer for five minutes and we're just gonna keep looking at it until we get the right color on here that we wanna have, you know what I mean? And then we just move on to the next. Actually, I'm looking at my, uh, my I'm looking at my all beef, you know, wieners and I'm saying right now to myself, we really about ready, folks. All right, so look, they should look something like that. Now, really, again, it's up to you. They look the way you want them to look. But we making Chicago dogs, folks. Remember, five minutes, then we start taking a look at it. So the only thing left to do now is just to prep our bread, veggies, right? So let me go ahead and get one of these pickles out of here. You know what I mean? Uh, I got it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit y'all right now. Just go ahead and say right now, pause, and we just leave it like that. So what I'm looking for is one that doesn't have, you know, like this right here, see how it's straight? This would be better when I cut it. You'll see how I'm gonna do it, right? So we'll put that one there, and then I'm gonna look for one more. All right, so when cutting the pickle, listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it right down the middle, the long way, right? We just slice it down this way, and then I'm gonna slice it down. I'm gonna take the half and slice that in half, right? Then you can come up with something like this. Now, if that's too thick for you, 
you know what I mean? You can go always go hit the top of the crest, you know what I mean, on the wedge. You can take it once you got it centered, and then you can cut that down too. And look, that'll be that one for you. Okay, folks, the buns are done. Poppy seed buns, look at that. They toasted. You can see they like a little bit more on the golden brown side. That's why we had to put that butter on there. It helps just get them just right. You know what I mean? Uh, that right there. And then, you know, we went ahead and did both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this down, leave that there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this pickle and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my, uh, my tomato. All right, and the tomato, we're gonna do the same thing, the same way, right? So I'm gonna cut it down this way, right? Then we're gonna cut it down in half, right? Again, so you guys can see, that's half of the half. We get on top of this crest and we cut this down. Now we got them like that. And if that's too thick, again, we come up on top of the crest. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking these because I'm gonna serve these individually to, you know, people here, right? So remember they nice and toasted. When I go to open them up a little bit because they got to take that bun. I mean, they got to take that, I'm gonna say the wiener, pause, all of that, right? So. Got this, these are like this, right? So I'm gonna take these, just set these out the way, cause now we finna do some assembly. Now, what you guys didn't see in the very beginning, which I kept inside the refrigerator was the white onion. And then I had the mustard inside, cause I'm, since I'm using this, this right here, I don't like for it to be room temperature. The colder it is, the more control you have. And when you lay it out like this, it'll just stay up instead of just spreading, right? So yellow mustard, white diced onions, you know what I mean? And uh, now let's just make it do what it do. Okay, so look, I told you guys I was gonna explain about the tongs, right? Tongs are not just for me to take the, you know, the hot dogs out of the water and then to put them in the bun, right? Listen, if you guys wanna steam a bun, you can always take a bun like this, go ahead, put it down the middle, like this, right? As your water is boiling, check this out. You could hold this up over the top like that, and the steam from that goes up in this and softens up the bun and gets it nice, warm, and steamy. That's a little pro tip for you guys that want to go ahead and level up everything, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back, take this out, and again, as promised, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, assemble. Now the assembly is kind of like key to, so I want you guys to check it out. All right, so here we go. Listen, I'm gonna start by using my mustard. Right? So if I take my mustard and I come here on one side like this, I'm gonna go ahead and put some mustard in here just like you see. Right? We got mustard. Now, the next thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna come over here to one of my slivers of the pickle. It's up to you. If you like them thick, you guys can use like the thicker ones, you know what I mean? Or you can use a thin one. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right here like that. Right? This way you see the pickle and you can still see the mustard. Right, so the next thing we're getting ready to do is we're gonna take some of our uh, tomato wedges and I'm gonna go ahead and just wedge these right here, just like you see, folks. We gotta work with this relish too. Right, so let's see. We got it open like this. It's up to you guys. We gotta get this in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, get some here, and now we're gonna just start decorating. And I hope my hand's not in the way. You know what I mean? Uh, and then you guys is from the Windy City. Cause I see you, Lily. I know you out there, Mama Da. I know, I know y'all looking at this right now. I'm probably thinking like, I don't know, AB. But I, I, I gotta say this. I think you guys gonna say at least the effort was right. <laughs> All right. So I know I'm putting a lot of things on here. Remember, a lot of this has grown in the garden, right? So all of this, like onions, relish, which was actually, you know, starts off like, a, what does it start off as? Like a pickle. You know what I mean? Talk to me, folks. All right, so now we're just gonna add our sport peppers on here. And I don't know why these are so big. Now, if you look at it, the top is just said to make the hot dog look like it's been dragged through the garden. So listen, that's why most people don't put ketchup on it. All right, and it wouldn't be complete without the celery salt, right? So I just give it a little, ho. Oh, that's it right there, folks. And that there is how you make a Chicago dog. All right, folks, so look, take a look at this right here. This is what you wanna see. They should look just like this. And don't forget, the full ingredient list, how to make it, all of that, and the printable uh, recipe is on my website. That's smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Now, listen, there's no need for me to over talk it. This is a Chicago dog. You guys gonna love it. So, cheers, y'all.
うんうん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、If you haven't, do yourself a favor and make this right here. This right here, rather than just a traditional dog or the Dodger dog, you ask me,、uh, just equally as good. The tomato, I'm going to be honest with you, the pepper, you know, the relish, the onions, and then it, it's a little bit more familiar, you know what I mean? Then we got the, the pickle in here. All of that just goes together, you know,、uh, so that's what kind of like makes me think of, of it being like a.、Uh, Like some type of like a, a veggie type dog, but I can tell you this this is a lethal combination. So, you guys see it? Listen, I'm very, very hungry, you know what I mean? This is the kind of、uh, meal I like to sit down with with my Kool Aid, but guess what? I just made myself some iced tea, you know what I mean? I did that homemade, put in your window, get the sun, the whole shebang. Now, you guys let me know what would you do to level this up. You see this version right here? I didn't have to do nothing to it. I like the Chicago dog just the way it is. Now, talk to me down in the comment section below. Hey, let me tell you what's happening next week. I'm gonna tell you it comes from the Lone Star State. And listen, it's gonna be a bird. Let me know down in the comment section below. So, listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm out. Cheers. Thank、you